Hi everybody, my name is Krissa. I'm the Senior Recruitment Coordinator for Wilfrid Laurier University and I am joined by the wonderful English program at our Brantford campus here at Laurier. We're excited to share uh, about experiences and the programs and I have a great panel that I'm going to pass it off to introduce themselves. Hi, uh, my name is Iona McMahon. I'm a third year English major at Laurier Brantford and I am the president of the English Student Association for the 2020-2021 year. Hi, I'm Bailey Zimmer. I'm a third year English major at the Laurier Brantford campus as well. Um, I am the event coordinator for the ESA and I'm also the lead reporter for the Laurier Sputnik, which is our newspaper. Very nice. My name is Dr. Ken Parody. I'm the coordinator of the English program at Laurier's Brantford campus and I'm also a professor in the program and I teach courses in literary theory and the first year English course and American literature. Okay, well, we'll start uh, with you, Ken. If you want to talk a little bit about why English, I think this is a really good question. Uh, English can come, people can come into studying an English program for a variety of reasons. Why would you say English and then specifically English at Laurier, at our Brentford well, campus? Yeah, well, it's funny because a lot of students, when they come and talk to me at a, at a university fair or something, they, they often say, you know, I really like I really like English, I really like writing, I really like English literature, but, you know, I kind of get made fun of at school when I tell people I want to take English. They say, why would you take that? You'll never get a job. Well, let me put that out of the way first, is that there's actually a quite a bit of statistics available now that show that people who have a humanities degree, a degree such as English, end up making just as much money as their professional counterparts. Sometimes you have to start off a little slower and your earning, your earning curve is a little bit lower at the beginning. But the fact is, is that an English degree is really useful, especially in, in contemporary times, because it doesn't train you to do just one thing. It gives you a very broad skill set. It gives you the ability to think on your feet, the ability to talk well, the ability to write well, and the ability to solve real world problems in a way that allows you to be really adaptable and flexible, which means that English majors tend to start off sort of lower down the income scale, but because of the skill set they get from the English program, they tend to move up in the job and the job and career opportunities fairly quickly. So, I mean, let's get that out of the way right away. So don't listen to anybody who tells you that you can't expect to get a decent job with an English degree. I know a lot of people have a little laugh and make fun of it, but it's simply not true. So the question then is, you know, you're probably thinking about English because you like doing the sort of stuff we do in English, reading and writing and thinking and doing some creative writing too. And you're probably a little worried about whether or not you can make a living at this sort of thing. Well, yeah, English majors do just fine. And the fact is, is that, you know, in your time in English, you're going to be doing something which will stimulate your mind and which will develop your, your critical thinking skills and your communication skills. So the fact is, is that English isn't a bad degree to get, but the thing is you can get English literally anywhere in the province. And you can take an English, English program that's a good English program at any university in the province. So really it comes down to knowing yourself and knowing what kind of an, a student experience you want. Now, one thing about Laurier that's really kind of unique is that Laurier gives its English students uh, two different opportunities, two different models for studying English. At Laurier's main campus, the Waterloo campus, you can study English in a sort of traditional large university setting. In a large university setting, you'll probably have relatively large classes. For example, in your first year class, you might be in a class of 300 students and you'd break off and have tutorials. And then in your upper year classes, you probably have 40 to 60 students in a class. And you know, some students really like that. Some students love the hustle and bustle of the big place, but it's not for everybody. And Laurier at Brantford, offers the same English program in the kind of intensive small university format that you would get at one of the places out east like Mount Allison or St. Francis Xavier, or if you were in the States that you would have to pay a lot of money for to go to one of those elite private colleges. Because we offer our English program at Laurier Brantford, the same Laurier English program, instead of a 300 student first year class, your first year class might be 60 or 70. 
right? Iona, Bailey, you took my first year class, didn't you? Or at least one yeah. of you guys did? Yeah. So, I mean, it's a very different experience to have a first year class where you can kind of feel comfortable talking in front of everybody because it's really not that much bigger than your high school class. When you get into your upper years at Laurier and Brantford, a lot of our classes actually have less than 20. In fact, some of our classes have less than 10 in them because your professor knows who you are, all of your colleagues know, you, know who you are, and you're sort of accountable to everybody for having your work done and for you know, being able to participate and contribute to the class discussion. So at Laurie and Bradford, we offer the kind of thing that in Canada you could really only get at one of those exclusive small universities, but here you can get it right in Ontario, right here in Southern Ontario. And it's a very different experience. Not everybody loves the intensive small class experience, but for students who are serious about their studies and who really are prepared to take advantage of, you know, uh, a, a small class experience where you get a lot of contact with your professors and a lot of contact with your, with your fellow students, this is really a real opportunity and it's a bit of a hidden gem. So I'll, I'll stop talking now. I think, I think I should pass it over to uh, Carissa. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Um, Ayanna Bailey, do you want to add, like, why did you in particular choose English and then English at our Brantford campus? So Bailey, if you want to start. Um, I really liked the small community feel because, like, I do like the big class aspects that the Waterloo campus had, but I really like being able to connect with professors a lot and with your students. Um, when you connect with the professors, you get a better learning experience. You get like more hands-on knowledge and you get way more help. And they, they know your first and last name. They know what town you're from. You just get more of a connection with the professors. And then how about you, Aida? Um, In my experience, I actually um, started my undergrad here at 21. Um, so right out of high school, I went to a really big university that had a massive English program. And all of my classes were like uh, Dr. Parody was saying, like 300 people, and then you'd break off into a tutorial. Um, and I think that that was a lot of the reason why I struggled. Um, I think English is hard to apply when it's one instructor and 300 students. I have, I don't know anything that happened in Frankenstein. I've read it a couple times. Um, so, I mean, for the same reason that, that we get put in tutorials in a big university, um, I think it's really advantageous to be in a small classroom setting. Um, by third year, or by second year, sorry, I was third on the attendance for one of my classes. My last year starts with M. So <laughs> it was very, uh, I, I feel that I really benefited from that. Um, I also think it's very advantageous um, because I'm interested in going to graduate school. And um, I, it's nice having the same profs year after year and knowing that you have potential references. That's awesome, thank you. And so, Ken, back to you, what are some of the things that a student who's studying English and specifically at our Brainford campus, what are some of those skills and knowledge that they're really going to gain from being a student at the program? Well, at the Brantford campus, you can get almost all of the, the regular courses that you would get at a bigger university. You might not get nearly as much selection of sort of when you can take it during the week, and we don't offer as many sections. But here at Laurie and Brantford, you can take uh, advanced writing classes, you can take professional writing classes, you can take creative writing classes. We now offer uh, a creative writing introductory course. We offer a creative writing course in poetry, a creative writing course in short fiction. In fact, right now, our short fiction creative writing instructor is shortlisted for Canada's Giller Prize. And we'll find out next month if our creative writing instructor is actually going to be the winner of Canada's Giller Prize, which is the biggest writer, writing prize in Canada. So we, we attract really top-notch instruction here. Um, and we also offer a creative writing course in creative nonfiction things like how to write for magazines and what have you. So there's lots of options for writing here at Laurie Brantford. And then we offer the regular sort of literature courses too. You know, uh, courses in literary history, courses in different national kinds of literatures. For example, as I said, I teach American literature mostly, but we also have people teaching all the periods of British literature. And we also have instructors teaching various kinds of Canadian literature as well, as well as indigenous literatures and world literatures. So you can get 
all the kinds of English courses you would expect at a big campus. But here at Laurie Brantford, for better or worse, it's more like a high school experience where you come in with probably fewer than 25 other English majors. And these are the people who you sort of go through with through your university career. So, you know, by the time you've taken 10 courses with somebody, you get to know them really well. And a lot of our students end up living together. And very frequently, they end up sort of starting businesses together or even continuing very close relationships well after they graduate. So that's the difference in studying English at Laurie Brantford. You get all the same course selection that you would at another place, but you get more intensive uh, contact with the instructors. And you also probably, and I'd have to pass this over to our students here, but I would say that you probably develop, you know, a more you know, a more intense relationship with the people in your classes, just because you see them so often. Anyway, I'll, I'll let the students answer that question. We yeah, do. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Okay. We do have very close relationships with each other. Um, Iona is one of my closest friends. We talk like every single day we go out outside of class together. Um, not we work to together now too. Yeah, we work together now too. We update each other on our lives every day. And we met like through English in our uh, reading fiction class in first year, but we came really close last year in our British lit class, which had seven people in it. So we did get really close to that. We have each other in group chats on social media. We see each other every day and talk about everything. So you do get really close with the people that you're in class with. That's awesome. And do you find that, um, this is kind of a side question like for the students you did you come in wanting to improve like being a writer? Did you come in wanting to learn about literature specifically? And have you seen that kind of grow? Bailey, if you want to start? Oh, um, like came into school doing that? Yeah. I don't know. I came into school, I guess, to improve being a writer. I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I got accepted to Laurie Branford for both journalism and English, but I wasn't sure which one I wanted oh. to pursue. So I decided to do English because because it was like an umbrella kind of thing for me. Um, turns out I want to do journalism a lot, but I really do love doing English because I do get to learn a lot about literature and I do get to better my writing skills. And I can also take a professional writing minor, which does go towards my journalism aspect and I write for the paper. So I have like the best of both worlds. That's awesome. I, and I, in your time, have you seen your either analytical skills or have you really enjoyed studying a little bit more about literature? Do you find you're increasing your writing skills? Yeah. Um, well, like I said, I have been to university before and I was, I, I went into this very much with the mindset that like, I can't do another first year. Like this has to stick. I have to get through this. So um, definitely I do think that I've improved my study skills a lot. I get better grades now than I did in high school. And I went to an arts high school, so half my classes were choir. Like that's saying a lot, right? Um, <laughs> I did, um, yeah, so I, I do think I've really improved my study skills. Um, like everyone's been saying, your, um, your fellow English majors kind of become your closest friends. And usually everyone is quite keen on learning and very committed. So we do kind of keep each other accountable. So, Do you have a favorite class that you've taken so far? <laughs> you know what, it's the, the weirdest the room, class. Right? <laughs> I I'm laughing because they've taken classes with me, so <laughs> yeah. it's awkward. They're going to have to say it's my class. Oh, I, I, it's not your class. I'll tell you that right oh. now. <laughs> this is um, my class next year. Yeah, I'm maybe. Yeah. That would be your favorite. Actually, I did love American literature last year. Um, that was a really fun class, and I loved um, British literature, too. With Tom which is, yeah, we had the best prof. And like, it, it was such a, <laughs> the content was so boring, but I loved it. I don't know what it was. Like, it was just very engaging. Awesome. And how about you, Bailey? Have you had a favorite class so far? Um, I have to remember everything that I took. I like, I really liked fairy tale a lot with Lisa Wood. That was a really good one. I liked the fairy tale. I liked literature and crime in first year. And I did like British Lit 2, just because the professor was like so good and the material was like incredibly boring. Uh, but he made it like really good and very interactive. That's awesome. Well, I think now that, so um, 
with our students, like you're eventually going to be looking to graduate, you're going to be moving on to possibly a career. Uh, do you have an idea of what it is that you want to do when you graduate just yet? Or where you're moving on to next? Bailey, do you want to start? Um, I want to pursue a career in journalism. Um, I have to, I feel like I should get out of Brant County for that because there's nothing really to offer at the moment in Paris and Brantford. There is the expositor, like there are local papers, but I think I want to move on to something even bigger. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to school after this or if I'm going to pursue an education. Um, that's the same thing. I don't know if I'm going to go to school or get a job right away, uh, but we'll see. But Laurier is very good uh, to have that first step so I can get there. Okay. And how about you, Ryan? Do you have an idea where you might want to head after this? You know, my mom would also really like to hear the answer to this question. Um, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Um, I really like to write. Um, I think that I would maybe like to do an MFA in creative writing. Please don't tell my dad. Um, <laughs> but I do quite like uh, the idea of that. And I also would really like to be a professor and teach, which isn't something I considered until coming to Larry Brantford, but um, that's something I would really like to do as well. That's really awesome. And I think just because of with where we are with the themes, uh, like of careers, you know, half of what helps you get there, you know, they're looking for education, but also experience. Um, even going into graduate school and applying to graduate school, having sometimes that experiential learning or sometimes those other components can be so helpful. I mean, have you had an opportunity to do any hands-on learning of some, comp of some kind? Yeah, so, um... I did a, um, a community learning placement with a local elementary school uh, for a fairy tale class and Bailey did the same one. She could probably tell you in more detail. Um, but I also did for um, our American literature class, I did a placement, a 10 week placement with um, the Tower Poetry Society in Hamilton, um, just as an assistant. So um, unfortunately I did organize like a big poetry night event to get students involved and it was like the day after school got shut down so it didn't end up happening, uh, which was really unfortunate, but um, it was really cool for me to do. And just, I, I love writing poetry. I've been writing poetry for a long time and I've been posting it online for a long time. And um, it made me feel like that wasn't a waste of my time. Like maybe that is something that I could do as an actual career. I'm not very interested in like teaching elementary or high school. So kind of when you go into English, like, I feel like that's kind of uh, what everyone else is into. So it was really nice for me to see another option there. And how about you, Bailey? Um, the placement that Iona was talking about that we both did was when we did our placement for the fairy tale class. We did go to a local elementary school and we would read with the kids, we would write with the kids, we would read stories out loud, and it kind of brought you back to your basics. Like you were just looking at how the characters felt, what the moral of the story was, but in a very plain form, just so that the kids could see it. And it was really nice to see young kids learning what you learned when you were young and just seeing that their ideas can evolve and change into something so bright and brilliant and that you were the one making that happen. That's awesome. I think uh, one of my favorite questions to ask usually to wrap this up is to kind of talk about why you, um, you can kind of take it two ways. You can either say why you really specifically chose English at our Brantford campus or if you were to tell, you know, high school you or transfer student you from where you're coming, you know, if you could give one piece of advice that's really beneficial or something that you've really loved, you would encourage a student to really do, I'll leave that to you. And then for you, Ken, the question's going to be why you chose to teach at Laurier. So that one's coming. <laughs> so I'll start back, own if you want to start first and just kind of talk um, to something there. Yeah, sure. Can, do you mind just repeating the question? I'm so sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. So if you're thinking um, why you chose English at Brantford, or if you want, if you were to tell a grade 12 student a really good piece of advice to encourage them to study English at Brantford, that might help. Um, yeah, I think um, as a piece of advice, I would say if you really want to develop really close social relationships with other people and acquire an education that's really going to stick because um, it's very much the Laurie Brantford culture to be involved, um, to be in close-knit communities, and um, to like 
like it's it's cool to care here I guess like that's that's how I would explain it to people everyone's involved um everyone's really enthusiastic about school and learning and it's such a good environment to be in if you're really dedicated to coming in and getting a degree and how about you Bailey um I have to agree with Iona I chose in grade 12 to come here because of how small the community is because I really really like that small feel um Everyone is very involved with each other, like very involved. You get very close with everyone that you're working with. You get to know your professors. They reach out and make sure that you understand and engage with the material. Um, they know you personally. You know all your classmates and peers personally. You form really good connections with them. And it really is even a better environment, I think, than high school. Even if you went to a fantastic high school, because of the small class sizes, it's even better because you really get to know everyone that you're with. It's such a lovely and non-toxic at all environment. Um, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> and then Ken, why do you love teaching uh, or why did you choose actually to teach English at, at our Brainford campus? Well, I mean, that's a funny question because before I came here, I was a professor at Dalhousie University in Halifax, which is one of Canada's oldest and most traditional universities. And quite honestly, I came to Laurie Brantford because of family reasons, because, uh, you know, uh, this is where my wife's family was from. But once I got here, I realized it was one of the best places in Canada to teach because we had the chance to design an English program from scratch without having any, you know, without having any previous uh, hurdles to get over. And we were able to build what we consider to be one of the best small university programs in the country. And we're really proud of how it's turned out. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for your responses. They've been really great and very heartfelt. It's been great learning about the program from all of you. Thank you so much for your time. And I really hope everybody who's had a chance to watch this today learned quite a bit. Thank you and have a really great day. Thank you.